An official leading the American Coronavirus Task Force has used the statistics to implore young people to stop socialising in groups. God. It's finally happening. London is actually starting to follow suit of a lot of its European neighbours and we are starting to go into lockdown. From this evening, I must give the British people a very simple instruction. You must stay at home. Wait a minute, I haven't even done my intro yet. What is up guys, Karma Medic here and welcome back to another dose. If you're new to the channel, hi, my name is Nasser and I'm now a third year medical student studying at King's College London. And I think this is it guys. Welcome to video number one of the coronavirus quarantine lockdown that's gonna be happening over the next couple of weeks. Kind of scary and uncertain times, but I'm gonna take you guys along with me and share this journey with you. Hopefully get a whole bunch of studying and work done in the meantime, stay on top of my medical school curriculum and my studying for or this absolutely horrid USMLE exam. So yeah, I'm gonna share my whole experience with you. Enjoy the vlogs, enjoy the videos, and let's just get started. If you guys look behind my shoulder to the left, you will see that I am preparing to go into full quarantine mode. Call of Duty Warzone currently downloading. If you guys didn't know, I was an absolutely incredible trick shotter back in my day on Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. Uh, don't kill any of my Another exciting news, I just posted a video about how I make videos, I guess a little bit like video inception. Whenever I post a new video, it's always really exciting because I sit down and read all of your comments and reply to them. So that's what I'm gonna do now for a little bit while I finish off my coffee and then I'll make some breakfast and we can actually get started with the day. All right, all right, a lot of you won't know this, but I've got a private chef called Scrubs. He just whipped up this amazing omelet with feta cheese and cherry tomatoes sitting on a lovely piece of toast. And I've got a little bit of juice here for the morning. I know in my last video, you guys absolutely grilled me about leaving the tap on while I was washing my hands. So just to counteract that a little bit, I've got a metal straw today. Metal, no plastic, all right? I'm trying to save the environment. Don't leave me any comments about the plastic, all right? All right, gonna eat this breakfast and then let's actually get started with the huge to-do list that we have today. All right, I am, whoop, they're cutting down a tree outside and it's making so much noise. Imagine me trying to record a video in my room and there not be construction outside. All right, finally. So I'm gonna respond to your comments for a little bit longer. <laughs> so I'm gonna respond to your comments for a little bit longer and then begin the essay marking that I have to do as part of one of the modules I have for medical school. All right, I'm all caught up with notifications for now. Let me explain to you guys what is going on with this essay marking situation at King's. DAT essay marking. So in King's College London, in our third year of medical school, we have a module called Doctor as Teacher. And as part of that module, we've had to do two teaching sessions, one on a non-medical school topic and one on a medical school topic to an audience of students. And our final big assessment for this module was to write a 3000 word reflective essay. But in order to pass the module, each medical student has to also mark the essays of four other medical students. And so I'm gonna download those essays, start working through them one by one, comparing them to the mark scheme and the pro forma and things like that, and try and give them as accurate of a grade as I possibly can. But first, I'm not doing any work without coffee, so let's go grab some of that from the kitchen and then we can begin. Oh, wow, that is a lot of coffee nor filled up. All right, so I've got my coffee and I've got my... <laughs> I'm gonna sit down with the mark schemes on one side, the essays on the other side. I'm gonna read them, write down some notes and try and give an appropriate grade. This is probably gonna take some time, so I'm gonna do a time lapse and I will catch you in a bit. All right, so that definitely took longer than I was expecting, but yeah, actually reading through, I guess, what was it? 10,000 words or so, it's obviously gonna take some time. As I was finishing up with the last essay, I got an email from my clinical teaching supervisor saying that there is a doctor currently on Zoom and has prepared a teaching session for us. So I'm gonna click it and find out what's going on. 
It looks like there's actual teaching going on, but I can't hear anything. Conversions. So you can use Got that it. to help you as well. How cool. Conscious and Online there's teaching. Lecture. All right, just finished that teaching session. Um, not really sure how useful I find that. It was more of like a Q&A, students asking questions and the, the doctor answering them. In other news, we do still have lectures at King's College London because currently we're in between clinical placements. In between clinical placements, we have what's called like a campus block or a lecture week. So I have all of these lectures over here that I still need to watch and need to go through because it's material that's on our course even though we're not going to be tested on it this year because all our exams got cancelled. If you want an update on what's happening at King's College London Medical School, you should check out the video over here, I think. Hopefully I got that right. If not, <laughs> I'll have to fix this at some point. Looks like today we're learning about common compressive neuropathies and nerve injuries. So I'm going to set down the camera and start working my way through a couple of these lectures. Really quickly before I do that, let me give you guys an update on my finger. So as a lot of you will know, I injured my fingers playing basketball a couple of months ago now. It was this one over here. Over a week and a half ago, I got a steroid injection into the proximal interphalangeal joint. And honestly, it was so it wasn't painful, it was just extremely, extremely uncomfortable. Even now when I bend it, I still get pain at the injection site. It was, it was not pleasant at all. The swelling has gone down a lot. Pain has also gone down significantly, but I still can't bend it as much as I would like to. But you know, hopefully over the coming weeks, the steroids do their magic and it gets better and better and better. But the good news is that it's better than when we started and I will take it. All right, so I've got about an hour before I stop and cook some lunch. And if I'm gonna start doing work and going through the lectures that you see on my screen, I wanna sit down and do it for a long period of time, get in a four hour block of work. So I think in the meantime, I'm just gonna edit. I'm just gonna sit down and edit and crunch through some of this footage. On today's quick episode of Cooking with Karma Medic, we have a big marinated whole chicken along with all of these lovely cut potatoes, seasoned, salted, etc. Should be pretty good. All right, all right, so I'm still editing, but one of the many things on my to-do list just presented itself to me via an email. Basically, in order for me to register to take the USMLE step one exam, they need to request permission from my medical school to let them know that I am actually a medical student studying at King's College London. And so they've sent over this form for me to sign and send back to King's. It's another thing that was on my to-do list today, so happy I'm gonna get that done. So since I have my trusty iPad, I can just send that document over here and I can write on it and sign it on my iPad. I don't need to actually print it, then sign it with a pen, then scan it, then send it back. This just makes things a lot, a lot easier. Anyway, let's sign this document real quick. Hello, hello, hello. I'm back. Haven't picked up the camera in a couple of hours. All I did was had lunch, called a friend from Toronto, chilled a little bit, and now I'm sitting back at my desk and I'm ready to work and get through a couple of these lectures. Let me just set you guys down over here. Wow, it's been a while since I've been at this setup, watching lectures online and writing notes on my iPad. Pretty much everything that I've been doing this year has been clinical teaching in the hospital, so haven't done a setup like this in a minute. So yeah, I'm just gonna sit down for an hour or two and bang out as much of this as I can listening at 1.5x times speed as I always do. Work through a couple of lectures. I want to get these out of the way so that I can just focus on USMLE studying. So without further ado, with our guardian angel watching from above, let's run a time lapse and get some work done. I'm gonna call it there for today. It's been a really productive day. I feel like I've done all kinds of different things, but I'm reaching the point where I'm just not focusing anymore. So instead of trying to push through this and not understand anything, I'm just gonna stop. And I think I'm gonna go for a run instead. With this whole coronavirus thing, I've been basically sitting down on my desk for the vast majority of the day. And so I'm going out to run as often as I possibly can. I overtired myself last week, so I was trying to run every day or every other day. So I've taken a three day break and now I'm gonna go back. 
the last like five or six runs that I've done, I've had this like neck warmer on and this beanie, which I usually wear when I go skiing, but I'm trying to keep as warm as possible. I don't want to take any risks, especially in this climate. So yeah guys, I'm probably gonna be trapped indoors for the foreseeable future now. So if there's any specific videos that you want me to film, anything that you wanna see from me on the channel, definitely let me know in a comment down below. I always read the comments, I respond to most of them. And yeah, I really appreciate your input and your feedback. All right guys, this is what I look like. I am assembling into my final form, going into my cocoon. And yeah, hopefully gonna stay very, very protected from the cold and from the coronavirus. This is my official PPE. All right, you guys stay right there. I'll be back. Don't go anywhere. Stay right there. I'll be back in a jiffy. I'm back. 10K, 54 minutes, Ugh, five, 15. Pace. Time to make some food and jump in the shower. actually so exhausted that run really took it out of me i'm gonna spend the rest of the evening relaxing i'm actually about to sign on and play some call of duty with my boys which i haven't done since i was like 17 or 18 years old it's actually been six years i think since i've played online call of duty with the boys so i'm pretty excited this lockdown has me doing some really fun things so anyways guys i'm gonna call the vlog here thank you so much for watching i really hope that you enjoyed it if you did please do leave a like on this video and also subscribe to my channel to see more content from me in the future and as always i will see you in the next one peace Also, I haven't fixed my hair this morning. I hope you guys don't mind.